Welcome to Toy Hill Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler and I'm going to do another demonstration painting. Um, look at all the beautiful leaves around. I decided I might do some fall leaves with the beautiful changing colors. But um, I don't know. I've got a lot of ideas of what I want to do this time. and I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to do. If I'm going to stick to that, the beautiful fall colors, or if I'm just going to go real wild. I do know one thing that because uh, the time, I know one of my YouTubes, the time cl clicked me off, the card was full. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get real detailed. So I'll probably be doing a lot of this one off camera. And then just see what happens. Well, I am right now just sticking to what happens with these beautiful leaves. And I really wanted to especially putting that real pretty green change that you see in leaves as they change into these gorgeous colors. I'll never forget a long, long time ago, my sister and I were taking art class, private art lessons. My mother really believed everybody should have a lot of culture in their lives, and she didn't really think that school provided that much. I think it's gotten a lot better, but uh, you know, I remember being handed a piece of paper and you know, draw if you've done any other work, and that's cool, but not real instruction. So we went to a number of places. This one was a watercolorist, and watercolorist has never really been my thing. Uh, it's I really like oil paint, I and mean, it's a beautiful medium, but eh, it's just not for me. Well, I am really kind of sticking to. <laughs> a pretty much a representational painting here but then it just started might get real wild and anyway what one day she brought in some leaves it's fall and she brought in some leaves with the beautiful changing colors and she said okay we're going to paint these and i'm real surprised that i looked at it and i thought oh god boring and i right, and i'm sure i even told her too i thought i don't want to do these leaves and we did them, and you know, there's a lot of changing the water. You know, we were always having to get the new water as we were painting, and you know, it's okay. But I just wasn't really interested. I wasn't. I didn't pay as t close attention to color then as I do now. Now I really am fascinated by the change of leaves, the subtle changes, and the real strong changes. And I just you know, stare and stare and stare. But oh, now that's making it a little more expressive. I did want to probably just get into a real expressive painting based on what goes on with these leaves and then just see what happens with the background, maybe do some real wild things. I don't know. I wasn't going to have them so similar. I seem to be doing that, so maybe I'll get more, more red with this one. You'll notice that there are three leaves here. Anybody that has studied art knows that for some reason a really good design of space is a grouping of three. Now it doesn't mean it's going to look good, but if you look through art historically you will see a lot of paintings and sculptural combinations that are based on putting three things together. I don't know why, I have no idea why it works that way, maybe because it's kind of a triangle, triangular unit, doing with math or something. But it really is true. Lots of times you put down two things and, oh gosh, it's like screaming for the third. All right. Well, so far I'm not, not real happy. It's kind of kind of dull. So I probably am going to get real expressive with this and not concern myself so much about this real pretty change in color. But uh, still, still early, very early in the painting. I know I'm going to lose a lot of these edges and things because I'm not going to have time to really establish them that well. Now I do know I wanted to have the last one yellow. I thought that would be good to have one that's just yellow with some serrated edges. And ah, uh, so far I think this is pretty boring. <laughs> Maybe some leaves with some pretty colors, but I think it's pretty boring. 
I do hope I'll have something at the end of this because trying to have a YouTube every week which is not easy. I'm an extremely busy person. It's really, really hard to do this. But I really wanted to try to draw more attention to my artwork and to grow my channel. So I've noticed that YouTubes really do get people to, um, I think, look more. I've heard that it's one of the best social media channels. And I'm going to do one where this small YouTuber thing where a lot of people are saying, hey, we're small YouTubers, let's grow. I'm going to do one of that real soon and see if that'll help too. I'm up to, I think like 332 or something. And that's not a lot really on YouTube to really get anywhere. So I'm going to just keep at it. been doing this for quite a while now. And getting really interesting comments. It's real nice to socialize with other people. A lot of people are giving me really great comments on my artwork, and I really appreciate that. And I was visualizing this with the uh, veins of the leaves, too. And I'll probably do that, but I still might do it in a very, very expressionistic type way. Don't know. This is not at all what I had envisioned. I thought I was going to really just kind of start with these leaves and then get real, real wild with them. But I'm kind of sticking more to the way they look. And I'm not real happy with the way the green has worked out because I don't think it's really showing that really pretty change as much as I thought. I think I'll put it on both of them too. Because that's what I was really after, is how it changes really beautifully from the green. Well, I'll put in a background color, which will make all the difference. And then see what I decide to do. Now, what color am I going to use? <laughs> I had think thought I might use blue. I don't know. Let's see. It's a nice blue to really make these stand out. And once you get rid of the white, it's always a very, very different painting for me. Now there are some people that they like to just leave things on white and I just, that, ugh. Not that it can't work, but to me it usually doesn't work very well because white is the combination of all colors, so it overpowers the colors you have instead of letting them stand on their own and be expressive. And I would say that's my opinion, but I think that's absolute truth. <laughs> and I think I don't really like the blue so much, so I'm going to get more into a, some blue-green. Good time is going pretty quick. I thought this was going to be a lot harder to get this much done because of the serrated edges and everything. I don't know. I'm not real happy with it. I think it's just not really coming along to what I want it to be. I think the green helps a lot. Yeah, I think I better stick more with the green background. Don't know. Not at all what I had envisioned, but like I said in these demos, I like to just really kind of start with an idea and then just really play with it, see what happens. Some of them have a little more definite idea. The ones that are totally abstract, my center of my mind paintings, then I just really just react to the color. And at the beginning, I have an idea of how I'm going to apply the paint, the patterns and everything. But some of these others, I am really winging it. Oh, I do think the green helps big time. Yeah, I'm a real big red-green person. If you've watched these, you know that I am really into red-green contrast. It's my favorite contrast, complementary color contrast. And as I mentioned before, the famous artist Mae Stevens in a competition, when she met me, she said, oh, the red-green painter. She's very nice. And I won a purchase award for that show. Oh yeah, I do think the green is helping big time. I think that's going to make it a lot better. And it's only been 10 minutes, so I think I'm going to work some more. I know I can go a good 20 minutes and be alright. Yeah, I am kind of sticking with something that is a lot more conventional than what I thought I was going to do. I think this one really needs more paint. Well, I'm 
real surprised that I'm doing something that is really a couple of leaves, three leaves, in a setting with a green background, which I think is much better than the blue. So I'm going to make that even stronger. And then I'm going to get a smaller brush and do a few more things. And then I'm going to quit and decide if I really ha I would really like the green and the red and see if I do a whole lot more with it. So it might be like what it is now or it might change dramatically. And I always have the thumbnail, which just doesn't show up real great, on the YouTube. And then you can click on the link in the description to get a really good look at it. And as I said before, I don't know who's watching these. As I said before, these are on inexpensive paper with inexpensive paint, so they're not for sale. I don't like to sell things that aren't real quality, but you can get great prints, archival great prints, and you can get them, get wall art prints, you can get prints on yoga mats, you can get prints on just about anything, and they are beautiful. I've ordered them myself. They're, they're just gorgeous. And the link when you hit that link to look at this painting, you can look at all the selections to the right. All right. Uh, not what I had envisioned, but I think it is coming along. I might just stick with a a conventional painting of some fall leaves, or I might go back into them and do a lot more things to them. I'm not going to work a whole lot more. I think I need to get to that point where I'm just really making all kinds of decisions on how I want this to be. Not real happy, I must admit. I mean, it's not off or anything, but I'm not real happy with how this is coming along. So I might have to do some things in the background and really beef up this and I, I did want to have that change to the from the green to the red more. So I'm probably going to be going back in and doing more of that. That real pretty subtle change that you see as we move into fall. So I might be just be doing more of that. It's getting better. I don't think it's awful or anything. It's just not that it's not as exciting as I thought I was going to make this. I liked the drawing and I liked the space. And then I thought I could just do something really wild. And I'm not doing that. But I think it's starting to come together more than it was. Be sure to click on all my other links too to look at my all my artwork. I do all different kinds of things. I am extremely eclectic. I just really love art. Um, the main areas, though, as I've said, are impressionism and expressionism. So my main stuff, which is in the Blue Ridge Mountains, would be termed impressionistic with some expressionistic components. Still got time. So this one. Time-wise, this one sure turned out good. I was off when that one beeped right as I was just close to the end. Oh, great. That was very frustrating. So I just used what I had started and finished it. Usually I like to start at the beginning. I want to get a better camera. I do need to do that very much. I'm never happy, even though I work very hard to get really good reproductions of my work. Never happy, perfectly happy with the way they look. I get real close. I learned in school how to do the lighting and all to get good slides. That's when people used to use slides. And now prints. And I know how to do that. But um, it's still, you know, the camera all, I think the camera's a bit limited. It's very difficult to get the colors exactly right. Boy, I'm not happy with this at all. <laughs> Hate to say that. 
So I am going to put it up because I don't have a lot of time, so I'm definitely going to put it up as a YouTube. But I can't say this is what I wanted. So I don't know if I'm going to change it a whole lot or what, but it's just not what I had envisioned at all. I keep going back into that big one because that one especially bugs me. Art is a weird thing. As I said before, it's not something you just know how to do. If it if it were something you just knew how to do, it would be boring. And I do know some artists, and I'm certainly not going to put them down or anything, but I know some artists that really do the same thing all the time, and they know exactly how to do it, and they have said to me that they kind of wish they hadn't even taken it up because it's just kind of boring. And that's sad. It's never boring to me because I don't know exactly what I'm doing, and I never will. And I, even though you see similarities in my paintings, they um, they keep changing. They keep changing as I get more expressive, more colorful, and really, really complicated systems of texture. They have a t topography all their own. I look back at some of my old ones, I think, wow, these are practically flat compared to what I have now. Getting close to the end here time-wise, so... Well, it's only been 15, so I know I can go like 18 or 20. But... Um, I don't want to, certainly don't want to go over. Well, I don't know, it's getting there. I think I'm just going to have to have some time by myself to really decide how, to, how I want this to be. Maybe do a lot more in the background or something and just make it a little more expressive. Just do a little more through here and then I think I'm going to quit. And then work on my own. I'm still not into doing the time lapse yet. I really like to talk about what I do. I taught for 20 years at a university, and for Art of Pre students, I did demos at the speed of light. And I always, of course, talked and explained to them what I was doing and everything. And then in the art classes, I also did demonstrations, but not at the speed of light. They know that it takes a long time to do artwork. And so and I'm just used to talking when I paint for people. So that's why I want to do it. Okay, I think that I'm going to go ahead and quit there. Not what I wanted. It's not awful or anything. But just not really what I wanted. So I'll just have to decide what to do afterwards. Thank you for watching. Again, be sure to click on the link in the description to see the final painting and all the other links to see all my different kinds of artwork.